for the 12th race of the 12th season of the Gatorade Cup Series, we head to a different racetrack. For the first time ever, the Gatorade Cup Series heads to New Brunswick, New Jersey at the New Jersey International Speedway. This is the running of the Samsung 400. On the pole for tonight's race, Scott Upton, the 19th, who is outside in second, the one of Max Anderson. Then in third place, we have Evan Hunter. Fourth, it is Anthony Hernandez. And right on the top five, Keegan Thompson in the, in the 20 car. Then in sixth place, we have Jose Mills. Seventh, it is William Seaman. Eighth, we have Anthony and Charles Bois. In ninth, it is Port Stewart, Luke Rainey. And John Three for the 99 rounds up the top 10. Back behind them, Kyron Dunn's the 96. Two's outside the 41 of Tommy Fletcher Jr. Then there's Max Rossi, 83. And 29, Keyshawn Richardson. Then we have last season's champion, Eli Bright. And second in the points, TJ Lee comes in four points back of Luke Rainey. Then there's Griffin in the 10 and the double zero of Colin T. Along with Noggins got the 48 and the 01 of Colton Yo. Then we have Riley Spurley too and Marshall Burrow the 07 with Riley Sampson and Zachary Delello. Then we have Michael Gregory and Ronan Curtis the 77. Along with Jake Galloway and Anthony Fox the 38. Then there's Bibby Ruiz and Levi Shones the 7. Along with Jay Brando and Giorgio Satomo. Then we have Sebastian Kukulon, Landon Lyons, Trey Rainey, Jeff Wright, Roman Fenway and Cole Luigi, Jake Jefferson and Derek Campbell, and rounding out the field, Diego Lopez, the 88, and the number 6 of Carter Freeze and Surge back in the 42nd position here tonight at the New Jersey Motor Speedway. There's our starting lap for 41 laps of action at the New Jersey Motor Speedway in the Samsung 400. Let's go on tracks and fire these Gatorade Cup Series cars up. Start, Start your engine! Forty-two drivers rolling off the turn grid for the inaugural Gatorade Cup Series race here at the New Jersey Motor Speedway. It's a unique racetrack for sure. The Target Series has raced there before back around season five, season four, but it was only once or twice. Now, in season twelve of the Gatorade Cup Series, we are back at this racetrack, this one half mile racetrack in New Brunswick, looking for some action-packed racing. Tonight, four on laps in the Samsung 400. How about the three Diagras lined up second, fourth, and sixth on the outside? About 30 laps of fuel for these drivers to watch for that for some pit stops at some point during this race. Everham Scott Upton could be the first to step on the gas and take the green flag. We're racing in the Gatorade Cup Series at New Jersey. Is the first ever Gatorade Cup Series lap leader at New Jersey. Upton on the outside, Hunter on the inside, Evan Hunter pushing his teammate Seaman leads the first lap ever in the Gatorade Cup Series at New Jersey. Now three wide to the bottom goes Pointzer, Luke Rays around they go, in the field. Into the wall hard, Eli Bright, Nottingham Scott, Kukulon, Keyshawn Richardson, Riley Spurley Tube. Five cars on the outside wall, lap number two, Caution is out early on as a slick racetrack. Did not work out well for many drivers. It's going to be Hunter to lead us back around. Luke Rainey second. Rossi, Fletcher Jr., Griffin Lynn back around. But how about Eli Bright third in the points. James Kukul not up there in points. Keyshawn Richardson came in tenth in the points. Riley's Bridges not had a great season. They're all involved. Noggin Skies had a terrible season. Also involved in this crash early on. Let's see what happened. Our first caution flag is out here in the Samsung 400 at the New Jersey Motor Speedway. Four wide racing out of the trial Riley Spurley tube there on Nonagan Scott as they race off into turn number one. 28 48 make contact into Kukulong. Jake Galway slides his car but saves it. Eli Brighton is and buys there Riley Sampson gets low and gets spikes. The other cars getting low. Bibby Ruiz, Roman Fenway, Jeff Bright, Trey Rainey all doing a great job. But in all five cars collected in our first action of the day here in New Jersey on lap number two. Two of our Hendrick Motorsports cars involved in RCR car. Robert Yates car, Ganassi car also involved. A four wide mess coming into turn number one. Lodgers did a great job, Kobe, DJ Gow. I don't know, actually, they may have hit. I mean, it looked like they were very close to actually hitting again after that was all over. I'm wondering if Cole and Gow were able to save their cars. Because you see Jake, how sideways he gets, and Coda had to take the apron to come back up. Look at Jake right there doing a great job. The coach come back up. Now it looks like they did sort. I think Cole let out of the gas to make sure he didn't hit that 11. So great job by those drivers. But for these five, unfortunate, just kind of innocent there. Four wide racing, and they really had nothing to do with it, that's for sure. So Evan Hunter comes back around to lead the second lap here at New Jersey. 
staying out the racetrack. He has points there with Luke Rainey back behind him for a first season of the night here in New Jersey. Evan Hunter currently leads in the Smith City. Only last leader so far tonight at this racetrack. Early restart here tonight in New Jersey. Coming back green on lap number seven. Evan Hunter's on every lap so far, trying to lead the rest of them. He's currently out in front. Keyshawn Richardson overheating issues puts the 29 out. Sebastian Kukulon also up for the crash. E-lap right one down. And the cars that were involved but still going on the lead lap. Now it's gotten Riley Spurley to right now back in 39th and 38th. We have 37 clean race cars on the racetrack. Last of them, Trey Rainey, the 18, Jeff Wright, the 5, Bibby Ruiz, and Ronan Curtis. So Evan Hunter, 43, leads the way. Second place is our point center, Luke Rainey. Then third, we have Max Rossi. Fourth is Tommy Fletcher Jr. Fifth place for Griffin Lynn. Then William Seaman, John B for Keegan Thompson, Colton Yo, And Scott Upton, our pole sitter, right now rounds out the top ten. Coming back to our first three of the night, Evan Hunter leading Luke Rainey in second. They're going to be the first to step on the gas. We are back to racing here at New Jersey. Hunter with a decent restart. Luke Rainey as well gets a nice jump. In fact, I think he got a better jump than Hunter. He might look to the inside to turn number one right here. We'll see if he has enough of a run. Stay in line for now. This is a very unique racetrack. It has a lot of grip. It was, as you can see, recently repaved. Very, very new surface. There's a lot of grip on the racing surface. Hard tires they brought. So it is very out of control, but also very fast speeds around this racetrack. So watch for that to be characteristic. They'll also get spread out in this pack. It'll be very draft oriented to keep up with the main pack as our points there gets five bonus points for leading the seventh lap here in New Jersey. Griffin up there, points trying to get underneath Tommy Fletcher Jr. to get by to get up into the second position. But Fletcher Jr. clears on the outside. Now Lynn moves up to give John to Beaford the inside. Beaford has help from Keegan Thompson. Here comes Goldsmill, the 01, the only DEI card not start inside the top six here tonight. And Yo, right now, the only DEI car up inside the top 10. As currently leading Penske's Luke Rainey, looking for his second victory of the season. But Tommy Fletcher Jr., not letting him get away, actually gaining on him through one and two. It's very hard sometimes to set up passes here at this racetrack. You have to kind of follow the guy through the corner, follow his line, because he's normally running the best line unless he slips wide right there with Luke Rainey right there. A little bit wider, but Fletcher Jr. couldn't really get the power down on corner exit. To get back in, even though you don't really have to get the power down, you don't really let off much here. See the front of the field getting spread out here as they pull away in the draft. See the Ted trying to get the draft off the front two. And if he gets the draft, then Buford and Hunter can try and close it from fourth and fifth. Yo and Thompson side by side. Yo's going to get thrown off the top side to keep that spot. Here comes Steven the 45 on the top side, getting a run with help from Delello. Now the 16 moves down low to shuffle that 45 out. DeLello low on the 07 of Marshall Burrow as well. Winner last race at Hillside, but DeLello taking no prisoners. Moving to the inside, trying to grab that spot away from the 07. Up to ninth for the 16, looking for eighth on Burrow to turn number one. Behind them, three wide. Anthony Charbaugh looks low, but we get the power down. Jose Mills, the 15, gets the run. Now to the inside, 26, looking on the 83. Max Rossi splits the middle. Behind Charles Bois, here comes Anthony Hernandez. Seaman up the racetrack, Charles Bois up there with them. Battle off turn number four. TJ Hanley, second in the points, four behind Luke coming in, trying to regain lost ground. They lost on the initial start of this race. Hanley back up inside the top 15 to 15. It's right where he started. Back up to the front. Same song. As it's Luke Rainey, Tommy Fletcher Jr., Griffin Lynn. Front of the field spread out single file front. 10R. Now I'm back in a battle. Rossi Lowe and Michael Gregory. Here comes Anthony as the 8. The 26 star block coming back. Jake Gowie completely sideways under that first accident. Staved his car. Kept going straight. Currently inside the top 20 for the driver of the 11. Gowie right now scored in the 18th position behind him. The driver with the, the race sponsor of the hood. Samson on the hood of the air. Campbell looking for some good results. Hamill Lowe with help from Colin Teague. Right in front of him. Scott up to the 19. Our pole sitter at the front. The others are going to be catching lap traffic at any moment. It's Eli Bright severely off the base of 24. As side by side behind for a second goes Lynn on Fletcher Jr. He wants that spot entering turn number one. It's a hard spot to make that pass work though. The bottom of one and two. See Luke get halted by Eli right there. Where can he go? Because Lynn's looking low. Griffin Lynn takes the lap car. And Luke right near race there. Three wide to the bottom. And Griffin Lynn is now out front. Tommy Fletcher Jr., John Beaford holds at the outside because of the 24 of Eli Bright, who shouldn't really be out there. Look how slow he's going. These drivers can go over 200 miles an hour. He's going barely 180. He's halted now, Beaford. Michael Gregory's up there, the 9. Look at Derek Hamill coming low. There'll be three wide split in the 24. He's trying to stay all the way up top three wide. And now he's going to halt second in points, TJ Hanley, Conrad Evans. 
the six, Carter Friesen. Issues for some of our lap or uh, lead lap cars as they catch the lap of Eli Bright, who is severely off the pace, and he will be a recurring issue if we stay green here tonight. Or if he, I mean, he might get involved in the crash with how slow he's going. The closing rate on him is so severe, some of these drivers might not notice and run into him and spin him out or something. Conrad Evans really got the worst of that. He was up inside the top 20. Now he's going to be back outside the top 35. All because of one car, and he's still stuck. Landon Lines can move low, and Evans is now to last of the drivers that are up to pace. See, Scott and Spray Tube also slower. So Evan Hunter has gotten back up front the 43. Luke Rennie now second. Marshall Burrow third. Lynn has fallen all the way back outside the top five. To his inside, Keegan Thompson, Jack DeLello. DeLello had to lift, couldn't keep his throttle down, and... Heard his momentum there. Lynn getting around the top side. Keegan Thompson to his inside. Bow for second. Hillside winner. Marshall Burrow low on Luke Rainey as Evan Hunter leads in the 43. Coming around 17 laps complete here in the Samsung 400. Side by side for second. A race there. Hunter trying to pull win. Here comes Colton Yo low to get the third in the 01. DI has been very strong this season. They've won multiple races. Looking to do it with Colton Yo now. He has not won this season. He and Luke Rennie go side by side. Thompson and Fitz wondering where he can go to try and make it work. Luke's going to clear Yo. Thompson to the top side. Now, DeLevo, Lynn side by side. Behind them, Anthony Fox, Jose Mills, Fletcher Jr. with a massive runoff turn number four, but can't really go anywhere with it. Here comes Upton to the inside. Help from teammate Michael Gregory. Beefer back down low, trying to regain the lost ground for the lap car v lap right. Seaman down low with them. Colin Teague as well. Up front for the race lead. Hunter has it. Burrow wants it, but Burrow... Trying to complete that pass. Trying to get to the inside. Luke Grant over his bumper. Luke might look low here and shuffle the 07 aside. And he will. Hunter continues to lead the 43. Now Burrow and Luke Rainey side by side for P2. The points there on the inside. Our last race winner on the outside. Burrow with the nice run. The better line through one and two on this middle groove. It's a very unique. Oh, look at Luke. Going to cut Yo off right there. Express the old one didn't cut low. That's going to help Keegan Thompson with the run to the inside for fourth. Really surprised Yo didn't try and cut low right there. He had such a huge run. This is a very unique racetrack, though, to where both ends are not equal. One and two, the middle works a lot better, but through three and four, you want to be on the bottom of the racetrack. See it right there. And more lap traffic ahead. Spurly Tube, Scott, and then Eli Bright once we catch those two as well. Rainey again, low on Burrow for second. The 07, though, keeps that spot. And trying to get a run. Off four. He'll peek to the inside of Hunter again. He has a better run, but I don't know if he's going to make that inside work. 20 to go. We're closing in on our fuel window. About 30 laps, we mentioned. Give or take a few. So pit stops imminent for our front runners here in the Samsung 400. Once again, side by side with the run on the outside. Look at the run on the inside for Yo with a great run. But can't go anywhere with it. Luke Rennie edged out of Burrow. Can he clear him through three and four on the outside? I think he's going to have a shot to do it. I think he's going to get second on the outside. A great run for car number two, Luke Rennie. Burrow still fighting on the inside. But right here, through one and two, the outside's going to work for Luke. And right there, I think Burrow knew it and just gave him the spot. So now we're catching the 48, the 28, and the 24 all in one little pack. Will this cause some issues for our front runners? And where do they go once they catch? Hunter's going to look high, but Spurgeon was giving them the bottom. I think that was a miss. Oh, 48's pitting as well. That's a dangerous situation. Naga has got to not want to be in this. Spurgeon trying to get them the inside to get by. It's going to allow Marshall Brown to get the race. As Eli Bright halts Evan Hunter. And the yellow is out. Caution is out. They have been hitting pit road, and someone may have spun or something. So this is going to change it, because are these drivers going to go lap down now? Or will they stay on the lead lap be able to cycle through? So the yellow is out. Some drivers are trying to short pit, maybe catch the yellow flag or something along the lines of that. And now this is going to change everything. I think Eli Bright stayed on the lead lap. I think he's trying to get that back. He's going to come down pit run anyway, though. So now racers will hit the pits. Will those drivers that pitted, will they cycle out ahead or will they be behind? Will they fall lap down? So right there, some drivers completing their service. They will get out ahead of the pace car, but will some get stuck that were at the back of the field? Max Harrison putting on right sides. Hanley was waiting a little bit at the 21. I think some of these drivers are waiting on fuel because they're pretty close from here. So they leave. There's the pace car. They will beat the pace car up. But will they get back around to maybe be the race leader? That's going to be a big question. So now into the pit stalls. See the drivers that came up here racing to the 3 and 4. I think they really want to try and get up behind that pace car. As some of these drivers are going to try and leave. 
Eli Brent the lap car. But I think these sharps are going to cycle out basically mid-pack. That's going to depend right here. We'll see. Where do they cycle out? Looks like I think they're going to be about where they were. Some drivers may have gained positions off of this pit road deal. Some may have lost them. So we'll cycle it all out once we see what the yellow flag was for. A second caution flag in the middle of pit cycles. Let's go see what it was for. Here is the moment the yellow flag has come out. And from the looks of it, we can't see anything that would warrant a caution flag. You can see right here, cars are in the pits. Some late, some stay out, but it looked all right. I don't see a reason for a yellow to come out. Jeff Wright has some damage to the five on the front end. I don't know if that maybe littered some debris. See, I mean, he hit some drivers, but maybe there, some debris came off and they called it immediately, but... Whatever it is, caution flag is out. It's going to shake the whole complexity of this race because now we're going to have some drivers up front that weren't up front. We're going to have some drivers at the back that weren't at the back and right here. So Burrow does win the race off pit road. He'll have Eli Bryant in front of him for this three-star lap car. But some drivers are going to cycle out ahead of others that weren't up there. So we'll come back green just after the midpoint after a crazy yellow flag and shake the running board. Coming back to the green flag, they'll be on lap number 25. Eli Bright, the 24, is about to be three laps down. He's going to be very slow. This is going to hurt this path on this restart. So Marshall Bro, the 07, leads Evan Hunter, Luke Rainey, Michael Gregory, Tommy Fletcher, here in the top five. They have Colton Young, John for Keegan Thompson, Griffin Lynn, and Georgia Sotoma now in the top ten. Anson Charbaugh, Derek Campbell. There's another lap card. Now I get Scott, Colin T, Jake Galloway, Jay Brando, Yepez, Rossi, Fox, Sampson, Upton, they're the top 20 as we're back to racing here at the New Jersey Motor Speedway. And how does this restart go now with Eli Bright? They're going to take to the bottom. Hunter's going to go lower, three wide. And this 24 is going to be a, a roadblock right now. Rolling roadblock could possibly cause an accident if he's not careful. I don't understand why he didn't want to drop to the back there. Along with the 48. Look at that 48 just went by him. That 48's damaged the lap car. Look at them split them three and four wide. He's done a great job getting out of the way, though. That's got to give compliments to him for that. He got to the top side and got out of the way pretty well, except for Carter Freeze in the six, who's up top. Maybe Ruiz as well. Halt to the 47. Riley's with the ball at the back of the field. Luke Rainey back up front the two car. Our points are looking for a second win of the season. Three wide behind here. Colton Young, you know, the old one for third. Hunter will clear for a second. He's had one of the better cars tonight as well. I think definitely Hunter Luke Rainey, the class of the field here tonight. But can someone try and come to the front that wasn't up here before and try and maybe surprise these drivers? How about Griffin? Then looking on Anton and Charbois is now up inside the top five. That 26 car hasn't been anywhere near the top five all night. Now when it counts, coming around to 10 to go soon, it's money time. you got to be up there. Charbois, fifth, clears Griffin Lynn. The front four break away as Hunter tries to run Luke Rainey down the draft, trying to use maybe a faster race car to get there. Behind him, Satomu and Ham will go side by side up inside the top 10. Beeford, Rando, how about Colin Teague to split the middle? Burrow fading back on the top side, the 07. Riley Sampson low on Diggly Apez. Behind, Roman Fenway gets the apron. Levi Schoen's the 7. 78, Jay Jefferson. They're coming low, moving low, trying to get up here. Colin Teague looking to get up inside the top 10 to double zero. For these drivers haven't won yet this season, or maybe at the back of the points. A win means everything with 10 to go for these drivers. After tonight, only one race before we get to the All-Star Race. Remember, if you win here this season, you are in the All-Star Race, no matter what. And the All-Star winner gets a free chase berth. That's going to be big right there. For maybe some drivers down at the bottom of the points that maybe need to win here or at Rockingham UK to get into the All-Star Race without having to go through the Open and possibly transfer through into the chase with an all-star victory. Maybe that's their only chance to get into the postseason. Luke Rainey's best chance to get into the postseason is doing what he's doing right now, just get points. He's currently leading by four over TJ Hanley in the championship standings. He's had a great season thus far with six top tens. Looking for a seventh, his second top five, his second victory. See, for third there, Yo maybe got some dirty air to go up the racetrack and lost a ton of ground to the front two. Now it's a two-car race unless we get a yellow flag. Charbo up inside the top five to fourth now. As fading back Tommy Fletcher Jr. to eighth and make it ninth as Colin Teague flies around. That 41 looks off the pace with an issue. And I think Fletcher Jr. has some sort of mechanical issue. See how he's slower here. Maybe trying to get back up. I think he got some pace there, but I think he's just a few miles an hour off the pace. I think something might be wrong to that 41. 
up front, two dodges, battle it out. Seven laps of racing to go, and the Samsung 400, Luke Rainey leads Evan Hunter. Colton Yo catching back up in third. Charles Bois fourth, also catching up at Griffin Lynn fifth, coming back to the front four. And once again, lap traffic ahead. Eli Bright, we will catch one final time in the 24. Coming around to six to go, that's going to be big. And can anyone get to that two car? Right there, Hunter has a nice run through three and four, gains some time. And for third, Charles Bois looking on Colton Yo, that 26 has become fast here as we get to the latter portion of this race. Does he have enough time? And will the front two get side by side? They can see right there. He cleared Colton Young to turn number one. Charles Bois to third. Big fast race car. Can Hunter get to Luke Rainey? Get side by side. Slow themselves down. And if they do get side by side, third place will have a run. Hunter needs to do this perfectly right here. He needs to time it right. Five laps to go in New Jersey. Yellow flag would end the race early. Luke Rainey, the two leads. Hunter in second. Charles Bois. Yo now fourth, Lynn trying to go for fourth, but right now stuck in fifth behind Thompson Rando, just behind him. Colin Teague Burrell, the top 10 is held by Georgia Satomu. Fletcher Jr. has fallen, that 41 is having some issues as they've caught Eli Bright. Yo gets halted, the front three get away, here comes Charlebois for a second on Hunter. Look at Colton Yo, nowhere to go from the 0-1. Rando got around, Thompson, Colin Teague Burrell. Yo can get low right here, and Will, with now four to go, he's out of the running though, back to ninth, he was up inside the top five. This battle for seconds, but Luke Rainey wants to see that 43 and the 26 side by side. Three to go to the stripe. Luke going low right there. I don't know. If he has an issue. It's a pit. Luke Ray, the two with an issue. And now Hunter takes the lead, the 43. Does anyone else have an issue or maybe short on fuel? Did they not fill the two car up? They pitted after the halfway point, so they should be good. The two is a lone soldier on pit road. I think he has an issue. And now Evan Hunter gets handed the lead with three to go. And the points for Luke Ray now in flux. Now can Charles Bois get the run from second to get up there? Now it is a pack of cars. Hunter leads. Two to go to the stripe. Charles Bois has a nice run through three and four with a, a wider arc. Lynn in third. Thompson, Rando. They're the top five. Two to go. Three miles. And we're catching lap traffic. Riley Spurley to off turn two is slower. Lynn looking low for second on Anson and Charles Bois. 26 trying to clear. He'll run wide through three and four. Hunter going to maintain the gap. Off turn four. Coming to the white flag. One more time around New Jersey. He has a nice gap over second place. He has to just no get, negotiate the 28. He'll be good then. I think this is his race to lose now. Hunter has a nice gap. Charles Bois going to try and get around this 28 but gets halted. To second place goes Lynn. Third for Burrell. And Charles Bois is fading now on the outside. We're at the front of the field. Evan Hunter in control. The 43. 12 races. 12 winners. Off turn number four. Evan Hunter maintains the gap to win in New Jersey. He's the first ever Gatorade Cup Series winner at this racetrack. Hunter gets it done after issues for the two Blue Graney. Maybe a tire issue. Something has to be wrong with that two car. Everyone else had the field to make it, so it wasn't a fuel issue unless they just didn't get packed full. I have to think it was a tire shoot because I think he knows down the back shirt something was wrong. That's why he ducked low. And for Evan Hunter, a lucky break. He gets to victory lane for the first ever time in the Gatorade Cup Series at New Jersey. He's the first winner here in New Jersey at the Gatorade Cup Series. Here's how they finish in the Samsung 400 at the New Jersey Motor Speedway. Two caution flags tonight for eight laps and eight lead changes for different drivers. Seen the lead tonight and at the end, Evan Hunter gets lucky break. He led 19 the 41 laps. He gets victory after an unfortunate break for Luke Rainey. Griffin Lane ends up in second, Marshall Burrow third, Keegan Thompson and Colin Teague round out the top five. They have Anson and Traub on sixth, seventh place, Colton Yo, Georgia Satomu, Jay Rando, and Jay Jefferson. They round out the top ten. And Bradley Sampson, Michael Gregory, Scott Upton from Poole, never got the lead lap, gets 13th. Derek Hamill, Max Rossi, Yapez, Shones, Fenway Lions, and Fox are the top 20. Coluigi gets 21st, Seaman 22nd, Fletcher Jr. fell in 23rd, so something was wrong on that 41 for sure. Trey Rainey 24th, Anthony Anderson 25th. They have Max Anderson, Conrad Evans, Jonathan Beeford, Ronan Curtis, Jake Galloway, Zachary Delello, TJ Hanley, Jose Mills, Carter Friesen, Jeff Bright, Bibi Ruiz, Riley Spurrier, Tube Nagas, got Luke Rainey. All one lap down for Luke Rainey. Heartbreak for him. Started ninth, led 17 of the 41 laps run here tonight. Was in control until he had to pit. Finishes 39th. Eli Bright, four laps down in 40th. Then out of the race, Kukulon and Keyshawn Richardson from the first accident, of, or the only accident of the night early on in lap number two. Let's now go see the point standings. 
Here are the points after New Jersey, and it's Griffin Lynn taking advantage. The runner-up finisher tonight moves him up into the points lead, 29 up on TJ Henley, who maintains second, but now actually falls 29 back. He was four back coming in. Luke Rainey was the one leading the points coming in. He falls now 41 back in third after the issues, finishing 39th. Landon Lyons now fourth, and Anthony Fox is currently fifth. George Tomo sixth, Eli Bright all the way down to seventh after a bad night. Marshall Burrow eighth, Kukulon ninth, and rang out the top ten, Zach Delello in the sixteenth. Hunter moves up to 11th with his victory into wildcard contention. Colton Yo, Tommy Fletcher Jr., Conrad Evans, and Roman Fenway round out the top 15. Anton and Charlebaugh currently 16th, and Max Anderson now 17th. Cole Luigi, Jeff Brent, Keyshawn Richardson round out the top 20. Our two wildcard spots right now Evan Hunter 11th and Max Anderson in 17th. But just behind Anderson, only 9 points back is Keyshawn Richardson in 20th with his victory. He was 10th coming in, now 20th. Does have a shot, though, at that wild card spot. Also will be in the All-Star Race for a shot at a chase worth there. Down here, some winners, Rowan Curtis and Jose Mills, right now 24th and 25th. Riley, or excuse me, John Tabee for 29th. Carter Friesen down 39th. Not against Scott, 41st. All winners this season down below the top 20. They're going to need something to go their way to get into the chase, whether it be an All-Star victory, more victories, or just really good points nights. It's going to be something... That's going to have to happen for these drivers to get into the chase. It's going to have to be a miracle as well. 12 races in our 13th race. We're going to a different country as we head to the Rockingham Race Speedway over the United Kingdom for the Aviva 500K. I will see you guys then.